Hey, I just wanted to talk about equality here and my opinion about it. I've been talking about this in my English class and it's been way too long since I've seen uh, the white people talk crap about the Muslim religion and only relating it to conflict and terrorism. The truth is, is that we're all being ignorant and selfish. White people are as responsible and guilty about the wars, conflicts and problems we face today as Muslims, Asians or any other kind of race. Or I'm convinced enough to say we're actually more responsible. Did you know how many people died in the World Trade Center attack by the Taliban? 3,000 people died. Over 3,000 people. Did you know how many people died from the American bombings in Afghanistan? Over 15,000 innocent people. And you watching at home probably didn't know that statistic existed. Now that I bring the Taliban up, they were created by the Americans years ago, supplying them with guns and warfare materials and resources. If we look back at every single historical record, everything links back to the white people. To us. I'm not saying I'm in favor of the Taliban. I'm just saying we should look at ourselves for a second before we actually judge others. Hitler. White Christian man responsible for six million deaths. Franco. Spanish dictator that was responsible for the Spanish Civil War helped Hitler out in the First and Second World War touring Spain to ashes for more than four decades. Stalin, Mussolini, all these men caused the biggest world devastations in history. White people used to buy black people in auctions like if they were products. Racism was apparently morally right until the late 60s after Dr. King fought and died for the rights. George Bush is one of the biggest social criminals and liars of all history. All I'm saying is before you judge others, just look at yourselves for a second. Your great great grandparents probably had black slaves under their commands. I'm South American. What did the Europeans do when they arrived? They slaved all of us. It is within human nature to think that the people with more resources are the people with more power. The bombing of Hiroshima. The Americans were responsible. The British colonies and empire. Do you know how much slavery and executions went on in that? There is footage of American soldiers shooting at innocent Afghan civilians uh, without permission and just laughing about it with their mates. What happens when this leaks out? The white people say, I'm sorry. And everyone then tends to forget about it. My point is that if you meet a Muslim person dressed differently or that has different beliefs, just think twice before you decide to put a weird facial expression just because his religion was related to terrorism. Look at yourselves now. If you met a German person, would you slap him in the face and say, hey, Hitler was responsible for the Holocaust? I don't think so. So why should we do the same with the Muslim community? We are all in this together. War and war leads to more war. There is no good side or bad side here. There is no alliance or enemies. Us humans are all the same and we're all responsible to what's going on in the world. Poverty, lack of education, gender inequality, that's all in us guys. I am not saying our generation is responsible for everything that happened in the past. I'm just saying we need to stop being so ignorant, selfish and closed up to the world. Julian Assange, the creator of Wikileaks, is one of the most wanted men in the world. Why? Because he showed the truth. We need to open ourselves to the world and think of others as equal, no matter their religion or race. We're all humans and part of the planet we call Earth, the planet we call home. We still have the chance to change the world. We still have the chance to teach future generations what's right. And hopefully one day we will find peace within the human race. Despite your race, your nationality, or your religion. We are one. I need to take a piss.